All right, guys, we are back at Laro Bear Park, and I wanted to take this on the downhill. I want to see how it feels compared to the Roscoe 7, the Roscoe 9, and I do plan to bring the Remedy out here and compare the Remedy and the Polygon T7 to each other because they're both full suspension 27.5. I haven't ridden this in a while, so I figured this would be a great place to bring it. I hope you guys are not tired of this trail yet, but I can't wait to see what it can do and hit those berms at the end because those berms are sick. Time to see what the T7 can do, baby. I kinda can't wait to see, cause this geometry is a lot different than my Roscoe. I mean, I got the 29 inch tires on there. I feel more upright on this bike. These bars do have a lot of sweep on them as well. So we'll see how that feels too. Just a whole different setup than my Roscoe 9. Got horses on the trail. Let the horses pass by. How many of you guys see horses on your trails? Let me know. This is kind of a often occurrence for me. How you doing? Oh, no problem. It is. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Man, have you guys ever ridden a horse before? Let me know. I've done it one time when I was younger. It was an experience. I would definitely do it again, but let me know if you guys enjoy it or if you've done it before. I can't believe this bike is so cheap now. This is This has to be the best deal you can get right now in my opinion. I would say the only thing I noticed so far is it's heavy. You can really feel that weight on the front end with the fork and the tires. But other than that, I think this is a great deal. You can always get a better fork down the road, get better tires. These tires are super grippy though, and they can, they can handle a lot for sure. But if you want to shed a little weight, definitely change that fork and those tires out, and that will save a lot. But it's definitely not necessary. For $15.99, it's gonna be hard to beat this. You get a lot of bike for not only under two grand, pretty much well under two grand for a mountain bike. $15.99 for quality full suspension bike you don't see that nowadays so polygon they hooking y'all up right now y'all gotta make sure y'all hit that link in the description if you decide you want one you get a great deal on the bike and you help out the channel so i would greatly appreciate it and i think you guys would love this bike if you were thinking about it but scared to pull the trigger now is the time look at the little shredder Little shredders. All right, we made it to Bear Creek Trail. Let's head on in there. Another good thing about this bike, if you purchase it and you don't want to spend any more money, you don't have to buy new pedals because the pedals that come on this bike are actually useful. Some pedals are plastic and you can't even really use them, but the pedals that come with this bike, they are actually usable. But so far, like I said, the only knock I got on this bike right now as I'm climbing up is the weight. Like it just feels so heavy up front and it feels like I'm pedaling just a big, a big weight under me pretty much. It's doable and I'm not the best climber, but that just comes with this price point. And to get a, a bike at this price point is still definitely worth it. This is also the 27 and a half version of the Polygon T7. So 27 and a half inch wheels. And it's always a little bit more challenging climbing with the smaller wheel. But like I said, it's still doable. It's real fun to ride. They have way more in stock now. I think before they only had the 27 fives, but I think now they have a, a wide assortment you can get the 27 and a half or the 29. If you do a lot of climbing though, I would suggest doing the 29. That's funny. What are the odds of that? Another T7 coming up on the trail. Just made it to the top. We got the Polygon T7 back there. Riding down Rutabaga again. And we just had somebody else roll up on us on the Polygon T7. Super sick. He had the different color though. He said he liked this color a lot. Let me know if you guys like this color or like the other color better. But he said in the two years of owning his Polygon, 
he only had to change the brake caliper. That's the only thing he's had to do as far as repairs. Now I heard a lot of you guys talking about cracked frames with Polygon and stuff. I haven't had that issue or haven't really heard too many people talk about it except for in the comments. So let me know if you guys have had that issue because I'm not sure how common it is. But with all that being said, let's jump on this Polygon T7 and get down this trail. Alright guys, time for the T7, oh, these brakes are, are not ideal right now, maybe I just need to warm them up a little bit. don't know how I feel about these tires. But the bike feels really good. Super playful and nimble. I just, I feel like I'm floating over everything. I think the tire situation might be because of me though. I think my, I think my rear tire pressure is too low. So it's kind of, it's washing out in the berm. So I think that's my mistake. Need to start bringing me a pump on the trail, like on the ride. Oh, that was sick. Yeah, this is super nimble and playful. Can jump super easy. I can't believe you can get this bike for $15.99 right now. That's ridiculous. Hey, good. Another Polygon. He ripping on this Polygon. That's two Polygons I've seen on the trail today. That's probably the most I've ever seen on a, on a trail at one time. It's usually just one. Me and one other person, but it's been three today. Me and two other people. I gotta take this bike to Trestle Bike Park. I bet it would be so fun. front fork actually feels good while well, the front fork and the rear shock feels amazing I know this is a full suspension but this is night and day compared to my Roscoe I mean yeah of course you feel more on the Roscoe but this is for this to be entry-level price 
Shit, you get high quality stuff. This bike is almost the same price as like a like a Marlin 8. That's unbelievable. Another good thing is you get a 1x12 drivetrain, which you usually don't get, especially at this price point. Oh, that's sick. I do really think it's the tire pressure, but the, the tires are the only thing that's it's like feeling weird right now. But this bike is, it's a monster on the trail. Yeah, if you guys been watching my videos lately, I've been having a battle with tire pressure. I missed this last time. Now that we have a full suspension, we can hit it. Nice! That was sick, guys. I didn't want to do that on my Roscoe last time. But on the full suspension, we got it. A lot of fresh pine out here it smells really good i've been riding those those belt driven and internal gear box bikes lately from priority and i keep forgetting that i gotta pedal to switch my gears i'm so used to being able to just switch the gear without pedaling <laughs> Definitely got to take this bike to Trestle. Hub sounds really nice on this bike too. These burns are so sick.
This polygon actually did pretty good. It was just a couple loose spots that gave me issues because my tire pressure is not where it needs to be. But other than that, this was awesome. So out of the box, you don't really need to change anything in my opinion. But the only two issues I noticed is the weight. And I'm not a huge fan of these tires. I'll bring them back out and see if it's the tire pressure, but these, these tires just feel a little wonky to me, if that makes sense. But this is an awesome bike for sure, especially for the money. It's, it would be hard to get a better deal than this. I don't even know if it's possible to get a better deal than this on a brand new bike anyway. This suspension, it works so well. This RockShox Deluxe shock on the rear and then the RockShox Recon on the front. Man, it feels so plush. I don't know how they were able to pull that off, being able to put good suspension on here for this price. Yeah, they did drop the price, but even at the price that it was, I think it was $17.99, I think. That's still a great deal. But at $15.99, you can't pass it up. If you guys ever come to Lara Bear and ride Rutabaga, make sure you get here, I don't know when. <laughs> I would say early, but it seems like early, late, middle of the day, it's always busy. So I guess expect it to be busy if you guys ever come here. <laughs>